This video is the result of what happens when two white dudes fall in love with the wrong culture. People from Sweden are considered white, right? Wait, are we considered white? Oh my god, am I being racist right now? <laughs> ah, writing music using Conical strikes back. Conical is the art of reciting rhythms and rhythmic compositions in Indian classical traditions. And it kind of makes you realize that Western rotation is for... New Year! Let's go, Ace! New Year! And what better co-host to have than my very, very not Indian yet very Swedish friend, Mr. Matthias Ia Eklund. Oh, hey, son, stay, son, I'm still here. I'm still Matthias, Matthias, Ida Eklund. I'm invading this channel for some reason. Yeah, more uh, nastiness to come. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. All right, take it away. You should subscribe to both of our channels. We are delightful. And if you haven't seen our previous episode, by all means do. It's great. And yes, I am very biased. This video will be structured like the previous one, in three parts. Part 1, conical composition breakdown. Part 2, drum adaptation and arrangement ideas. And part 3, guitar. This one is from Matthias' song, On. You're on! Yeah, let's do it. For this composition, we'll be using two phrases, tadikina tom and takadimi, where the takadimi is played twice as fast, so the equivalent of 16th notes and 32nd notes. Tadikina tom takadimi. The layout is pretty simple. Tadikina tom ta, tadikina tom tadikina tom ta, tadikina tom tadikina tom tadikina tom. Nota. Two is enough. Tadiginatum ta, tadiginatum, tadiginatum ta, tadiginatum, tadiginatum, tadiginatum. Oh, and the ta here is three subbeats long, so three sixteenth notes. The second time we repeat all this, we add one takademi before each phrase. So. Takademi ta di kenatum ta. I'll be singing this a bit slower because because I just can't. And before the third repeat, we'll add another takademi before every phrase. But instead of saying takademi takademi, we'll say takademi takajuno. Takademi takajuno ta di kena tom ta. Then takademi takajuno ta di kena tom. Takademi takajuno ta di kena tom ta. And lastly, takademi takajuno ta di kena tom. Takademi takajuno ta di kena tom. Takademi takajuno ta di kena tom. And the biggest ta in the world. Well, that didn't sound that difficult. I sense a trap. So the fun or um, annoying thing about this example that I brutally stole from the wonderful Sri Hari Kumar is that after the straight uh, 16, 30 second notes and so on, you do the same thing but in triplets. So ta ticket ta 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 ticket ta ta ticket ta ta and ta ticket ta 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 ticket ta ta ticket ta 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 and so on. Um, good fun. <laughs> and um, uh, here it is. And this I'm gonna sing even slower because I, I can't do this one even more than I can't do the other one. Tadigena tumta, tadigena tum, tadigena tumta, tadigena tum, tadigena tum, tadigena tum, tadigena tum ta, tadigena tum, tadigena tum ta, tadigena tum, tadigena tum, tadigena tum, takademi tadigena tum ta. Takademita de genatum, takademita de genatum ta. 
Nice. Okay, now that I can recite the composition, I need to think about how to adapt it to the drums. Here's a reminder of the two main guidelines that I use when I do this. Number one, follow both the rhythmic and the melodic elements of the composition. And number two, remember that you are playing a drum set. A drum set isn't an Indian classical instrument, and that comes with a few consequences. I discussed that with a little bit more detail in the previous video. And the last thing is arrangement. And here we have a few changes. The first repeat of this composition is a bit smaller and more compact, so I'll try to mimic the rhythms as best I can. But because these sections right here are way too fast for me to play on the drums, I'm gonna call up an amazing percussion player called Kanyanabe to just join us as well. He is faster than I am, so let him do it. For the second repeat, I want to incorporate a backbeat. And taking both my technical limitations and personal taste into account, I'll join the bass playing the hits at the beginning of every phrase. And because the phrases get longer and longer, those hits are gonna stretch out and sound like they're slowing down. Here's what we came up with. So when you put together stuff like this, it's really a fine line between, uh, how should I say, wanking or <laughs> exercise music and actual music that has some sort of musical value. And it's really, really tricky with a rhythm structure like this to, first of all, apply it to uh, an eight string guitar or a flute. Uh, <laughs> but little by little, you try to maneuver around and, and find some, again, musical uh, good context uh, so you can headbang a little bit in between all the straights and the <laughs> triplets and six tuplets. So it's good fun. All right. Why not? I don't know about you, but I think this is pretty awesome. Nice. Conical is such a rich and useful method to understand and express rhythms. I really, really recommend you rhythm lovers to try it out. And that's it for today. I want to thank Ozeri for still picking up the phone whenever I call him. I don't know why he does it. And Khan for even answering the phone when he knows that I'm going to probably ask for something kind of ridiculous. And of course, a huge, huge thanks to Mr. Matthias Ia Eklund. First of all, for his terrific music and videos, but also for spreading the conical word around and for joining me in these episodes. You should go check out his channel. He is just so good. 
And lastly, I want to thank my beloved Patreon supporters. You are simply the best. I can't express how much gratitude I have for you guys for supporting me and the channel. And if I ever meet you in person, hummus is on me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future. You're pushing it a bit, eh?